Hi guys, let's make some oat milk. Even though it's not my favorite plant milk, it's the most important recipe to learn, I believe, because it's the cheapest and also the easiest to make. And most people seem to like it a lot. This milk is so cheap. I will be spending about one tenth of what I would have paid for pre-packaged milk. Making the milk myself, I'm gonna save on tons and tons of packaging, which is environmentally friendly, of course. I'm gonna be making the milk using different blenders, a powerful one, the cheapest, weakest, and also an immersion stick. We usually have the immersion stick when we travel, so it would be nice to see if I can make any kind of plant milk using it. For one liter of oat milk, one liter is an average packaging size for any milk in Germany. We will need 20 grams of oats, rolled oats. 20 grams are approximately four tablespoons. I'm gonna grab my blender. I'm gonna be making just half of the packaging size. I'm gonna add two tablespoons to my blender first. And a little bit more than two cups of water, which is approximately 500 milliliters. This way of making oat milk is the fastest, easiest, no nut milk bag necessary, no filtering necessary. I will blend the oats for 30 seconds on the highest speed, then wait for as much time as I have, five to 15, maybe 30 minutes, and then just blend it again for 30 seconds and the milk is gonna be smooth and amazing. I could use it for any drink. If you try this milk and you find it too slimy, I would suggest to blend it just for 30 seconds and then filter it. I have a small strainer I'm gonna be using. It's a normal strainer. It has the same mesh size as a big one. There are also really fine meshed strainer, but we're not gonna use this one. Just a really regular one. By not over blending the oats and using a strainer, you will get the best results with the least mess. There is some oat residue in the strainer and a little slime. I'm not pushing too hard. I don't want to push the slime into the milk. If you try this milk and you still find it too slimy or if you don't have a strainer, I have two alternatives for you. A nut milk bag. My nut milk bag is made of organic linen. If you buy one, make sure it's a food safe milk bag. It's not so finely meshed, you can still see through. But I think it's gonna do a little bit to our already filtered milk. If you only use a bag to filter the milk, there will be obviously a little bit more oat residue in a bag. And you can press it out easily. In my milk there is just not so much to press out. But I still feel some sliminess being caught in the bag and also coming out. So I'm pretty careful not pushing it through. Yeah, there is a little bit. If you want zero slime or you don't have a nut milk bag, you can use just any kind of clean fabric. I have an organic cotton shirt, an old one. I wanted to use it as a cleaning rug, so I'm gonna use it as a nut milk bag first. If I had a sewing machine, I would have made it into an actual nut milk bag or at least cleaned up the edges, but I don't have one at the moment. For the purpose of demonstration, it will work fine, I believe. We don't expect much from this two times filtered milk, but there will be something the fabric is gonna be able to catch. I will try to press it out gently, again catching all the slime. 
I hope I didn't make you feel like you need to use all the filtration methods in this order. Just don't filter the milk at all or use one of those methods. I usually only use the strainer because it's the mess-free and easy way to do it. Here is a little bit slime on the shirt, so good that we tried it. The oats I'm using for this milk recipe are organic rolled oats. In Germany, we have super thin rolled oats. If you can find those where you live, it would be amazing. So just organic rolled, thin rolled oats are the best. These are the pre-packaged raw oats are never raw unless it's stated on the packaging. Maybe the company is making some kind of raw uh, oats, but the raw oats tend to taste a little bitter. So I personally, um, it took me a long time to get used to the bitterness of raw oats. So I would definitely not recommend you making the milk using raw oats if you're not into raw food. Let's continue with a really weak blender. If you have a blender at home, any kind of blender is probably much better than this one. It just then add on to my food processor. It doesn't feel like I can assemble it. It's probably gonna break apart while mixing. I hope not. I'm gonna add two spoons of oats and 500 milliliters or two cups of water and blend for 30 to 60 seconds somehow it doesn't work oh, yeah. i just realized there is a second speed mode by filtering it, I can already see that there are more leftovers than using the powerful blender. And a little bit also in the blender itself. Now we're gonna use um, immersion blender. Again, two tablespoons of oats. And two cups of water. There's just one speed with my immersion blender. It's a 600 watt one. I didn't measure the time, it was between 30 and 60 seconds. It feels like it has the most oats left over in the strainer which is was expected i'm gonna try and compare all the milks now the first one is made with a high speed blender the second one with the shitty and then the immersion blender high speed blender made a smooth tasty milk nothing to complain about perfect shitty blender it's a little slimier, a little watery, but still really good. And the immersion stick, a little watery, absolutely not slimy. I think it's perfect just filtering it using a strainer, perfect. Honestly, I did not expect the immersion blender to work this well. Here a little slimy, I think I would filter it using a t-shirt. And here I could do anything. I mean, the milk is perfect. You can filter it with a shirt, with a strainer or a nut milk bag. It will be great. I'm gonna show you a couple of flavored milk recipes. First one is strawberry milk and it's so amazing. I'm just adding a couple of dates, couple of strawberries and I'm gonna blend it. I think it's better to use pre-made milk because you don't want to blend your strawberries for a minute. But it's up to you. I would usually just pre-blend the milk 30 seconds or so then add the dates and the strawberries and blend for 
another 30 seconds or so. And the milk is always so creamy, tasty, flavorful, tastes like a strawberry chewing gum. This seriously is so, so good. Another favorite is chocolate milk. I would add just a little milk, like half of it, one cup, dates and one tablespoon of cocoa powder. It's raw cacao, so I like to pre-blend it to mix it in super well and then to add one more cup of milk and blend it again. If I would make it just using oats and not the pre-made milk, I will still start with one cup of water, blend everything and then add one more cup of water and blend again. Maybe wait a little bit in between to let the milk get really smooth and silky and a little slimy. I think chocolate milk tastes really good with a little of sliminess. Another favorite recipe is granola with oat milk. I don't have granola, so I just used some raw oats. Berries, dried mulberries, some cacao nibs. You could add some nuts and the milk, of course. Even I find it super important to have a couple of super easy simple plant milk recipes in your head. As soon as guests arrive and you don't have any prepackaged milk at home, you can in a couple of minutes make your own plant milk. Besides knowing this recipe, I find also the cashew milk and the almond milk super, super helpful. I'm gonna show you those recipes in my next video. So subscribe and I see you soon. Bye guys.